Joining us right now is uh, Chris McCann. Uh, good morning, Chris. Hey, good morning, Bulldog. How hey, are you? Good. How you dude? Do- I'm not sure who's who. <laughs> I, I'm Bulldog, and I'm the dude. Yeah. He's the dude. Yeah, now, now, Chris, uh, frightening stuff here. Um, we've been we've been sitting here planning for uh, December 21st, 2012, is the end of the world. Then Chris yeah. McCann comes in and tells us, no, no, no. It's going to end October 21st, 2011. Right. Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Mayan calendar. Um, that That's, I mean, the Mayans were, I guess, brilliant for their time, uh, right. but they were just men like us, and, and you know, we, we don't know what's going to happen completely the rest of today, let alone tomorrow. So uh, they're, they're not the one to worry about. The problem is that uh, God knows the end from the beginning, uh-huh. and he wrote, also a calendar, and he put it in the Bible, okay. and that's the one we have to be concerned about. And and that one ends October 21st, 2011. Right, where, the, where, key now, date, you know. the key date is May 21, 2011. And, and that's the key date, why, Chris? Well, because that's when uh, salvation ends for the world. That's the day that God comes and takes his people out of the world and closes the door on salvation uh, for those that will be left behind. Yeah, that series, Left Behind, had a little bit of truth in it. And and uh, there there will be uh, people that are left behind in, for five months, and then uh, the end will be on October uh, 21. Okay, well, I, I, okay, so on May 21st, what does the Bible say is going to happen physically for, for us to see? What, what is going to happen physically? Well, uh, what's going to happen, and and everyone will see it, is that there will be a great earthquake um, the world over because it's the day of the resurrection. And if uh, you you look into the Bible, you find that God's methodology to bring about a resurrection, you see it with uh, Christ's resurrection, it is an earthquake. And so since this is a worldwide resurrection, there will be a worldwide earthquake. It'll be Haiti all over the world. And then after the resurrection of the dead, well, God will also take those that he saved, which the Bible indicates will be a great multitude. He'll lift them up into heaven. They will be gone forever. And God also will have left in the sense there'll be no more salvation. And all the, the those who were never saved are left behind. Now, those uh-huh. dead... Yeah. They came up out of the ground. They're not coming back to life. They're going to be scattered across the face of the ground. It'll basically make the earth a giant graveyard for five months. Chris, let me ask you a question. And, and, and listen, I certainly respect your opinion. If May 21st comes and goes without this incident, without this worldwide earthquake, and without it becoming Judgment Day, is Chris McCann willing to come forward and say, now, now I guess that Bible was wrong. I guess everything I believed in is wrong. What happens on May 22nd if you're still here? Well, well, you know, Bulldog, the problem is that, that God is telling us. He, he's, uh, he's trying to warn everyone, and, yeah. and everyone will hear by the end. Sure. He's trying to tell us May 21, that's the day. Focus on that day. And, okay. and I can't tell you how many people, uh, you know, the number of people that say to me, what about May 22nd? And I think that's the natural tendency of man's mind. Uh-huh. We don't believe the Bible. Okay, and well, I, here's so, what I'm saying. Look, believe the Bible. I'm cool with that. I'm asking you a question. If nothing happens on the 21st, then what about all your belief in the Bible? And this is just, hey, look, you're saying what if on the 21st. I'm saying what if on the 22nd, okay? What well, are you, you going to do on the 21st? Tw- you got it wrong. I'm not yeah. saying what if. Yeah, you're saying when. May okay. 21 exclamation point. Okay, okay fine. There's that, no question mark. That, that's cool. Okay, you're right. But in the rare event that I'm right and May 22nd occurs, what happens to Chris McCann then? What are you going to say? Well, well, see, it, it's not possible. The Bible guarantees May 21 will be Judgment Day. Uh, so uh, it, it, okay. you're asking me to uh, imagine a scenario that cannot take place. When was the last prediction made that this was going to come to an end? Wasn't there one recently, 10, 20 years ago or so? Well, you know, there's been many predictions over the course of history. And, and what was wrong and with those? A lot those? of times people try to lump them all together and, and say, well, uh, you know, uh, hundreds of people have predicted this throughout history. Well, I don't have any relationship to them. I don't have any association with them. And And you also have to 
look at, for instance, those that tried to fly for centuries. How many ended up at the bottom of the rocks with their feathered wings? And if it was said to the Wright brothers, hey, you know how many people have tried this before? What are you doing trying to fly? You, you better not even attempt. Well, we wouldn't have, you know, the... Uh, the you know, uh, we have today. Uh, you know, the thing that gets me is it, it also says in the in the scripture of King George that the uh, the actual day of apocalypse was on May fourteenth, nineteen thirty seven. No, it doesn't say that. It does say that. No, not in the Bible. No, it's in the King George version, and it says this. So it's already happened. Well, I've never heard of the King George version. So the king, the king, I, I'm the sorry. King, well, you know, I think you need, you might need to open your mind a little bit to these things. May 17th, 1935. It's already happened. I just blew your mind, didn't I? No, not actually. <laughs> okay. So I want to schedule an interview with this guy in the 22nd and see what happens. And, and I'm just curious. I went to your website. What, are you, uh, what, what am I giving donations for, for you to spread the word? Well, yeah, if uh, someone yeah. Uh, sends a gift. Yeah. And we are Why do you need using, a gift? The, Why money. Do you need We're a using gift? the money yeah. to warn the world. Uh, sure. If you notice, we have billboards and... Uh, India, in Guatemala, in many countries in Africa, in South America. What? How about here in the U.S.? Uh, we're, uh, Family Radio is yeah. is a worldwide ministry. In the U.S., uh, it has 50-some stations and many uh, translators, and they broadcast to all the world. Okay, then let me ask you one question again. Does Family Radio and your whole deal end on May 22nd, if it does not happen, you guys cannot step foot into the world, into the airwaves, if it doesn't, if it doesn't happen. You guys are done, right? Because you made a prediction. You can't come back and recant that. It's not going to happen. Let, let, I know that. I, yeah. Yeah, let me try to explain. I can't. With Noah. You're, you're not going to get. Yeah. With, with Noah. Noah. Yeah. Uh, God told Noah, yet seven days and I'll bring the flood. So he told him the precise year, month, and day the flood would come before it happened. You can't reason with these no, And no. so... Why now, is it... I have um, a quick question for you. Can I ask you one quick no, question? They, Let me interrupt hey, you. Hey, 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 Chris. Chris, 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 Chris. Yes. Let yes. me stop you a second and ask one question. Why uh, is it... Uh, excuse me Why is it... Why excuse is me. it... Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah. You're, you're not letting me... Well, sh well, you're not letting me say anything. Why we is it? Continue. What, dude, what can dude, I say to you? dude, hold on a second. I have what a question. Can I say? I mean, I was you can to... shut up a second. Be quiet. Why is it that you people who want to spew all this are the last people willing to listen to anybody else? You have your mind set on something. And you will not listen to anyone. Well, I'm afraid you... that you're you're in. Yeah, I'm done with you. I'm afraid you're off the air. I'm afraid I don't want to Ooh, talk to you anymore. Man. I'm sorry. Hey, Bill. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Bulldog. Yes, good sir. Morning, Chris. How are you? Uh, Chris, Chris got off the air. Oh, shoot. I wanted to ask him, God. why do we need warning? Why does he God. need monetary gifts? What are we going to do? That's what I wanted to ask him about. about it. It. I wanted to ask him what the deal is. Why do they need donations? for the? You know, give me back your donations. Stop this. You, you, God, you drive me nuts. Hey. It was a brick wall. Uh, he would never God. answer your no. question no. No. about the day after. <laughs> Dude, I am, uh, I, listen, I'm making plans May 22nd, uh, 2011. I'm having a big party without all these, without the Chris McCanns of the world. So. <laughs> That's good. Hey, everybody knows it's going to be December 21st. Yeah, we all know that. Well, right. Watch yeah. it. Watch it. All right. On, See you later, Come Bill. On. Plenty of time to party. All, all right. right. All right. Thanks, man. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.